God damn it, what's wrong with you? Sit your west out, sit out, shut up. What up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Danny Divine. Welcome to the Danny Divine Show. I'm going to talk about something very personal today. I think sometimes it's good to share our life experience with other people. Um, maybe so that people can learn from us or we can learn from our own mistakes or whatever. Uh, however way you want to do it. So, what I'm going to talk about today um, is more about my relationship that I have uh, with my partner, um, which I think is a crazy, crazy shit, but I just, um, let me let me just give you guys a little backstory about how I met my fiance and wife-to-be, you know, um, so it's going to be interesting, so take Get a coffee, sit down, get some pancakes, whatever shit you want to eat, put in front of you, because this is going to be a nice, beautiful bedtime story for all of you. So this is also like something for the future. If my future kids are going to watch this and also my children, this is how I met your mama. (laughs) All right. So a little backstory. There was things happening in the background in my life which has had something to do with marriage and all that stuff. This is, um, I've always wanted to get married with someone and I, I think how it was happening, it was happening too fast. And I met, and we me and someone were talking and everything was good. Everything was planned. And I was meant to go there back in Africa, get married to this woman, blah, 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 and all that stuff. But then Corona happened. Dun, dun, dun. And when it happened, I've already once in the past, um, let's say, connected with my future wife to be, but anyway, she just fucking sidelined me. It's okay, it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. She sidelined me. It's all good. So I met her on Tinder. Yeah, sometimes you can meet people on Tinder. It's not only a place where people go to bang each other. Sometimes, if you're lucky, you will meet someone. That actually you actually connect with so I met her before first t- on tinder got a number and you know how the shit goes if you've been on tinder t- talking all the stuff but this woman wasn't even talking to me after giving me her number she just literally just ignore any text i sent to her i'm like you know what why am i wasting my time bah that's what i did bah i buy her bah she's gone then Months passed and my own shit was going on in the background. And after my shit, like, went sideline and I found out about a, a lot of stuff about the person in Africa and all these things. So I decided that, nah, this is not for me, you know. Even though my sister, literally, she went in and she's trying to help me out. Basically, my whole family wanted me to get married. And I wanted to get married too because I felt like I was getting old, even though I was like 33 at the time. But I feel like, I feel like it's, it, it was that time. I feel like I was, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm already a dad, you know? So I feel like it's time for me to settle down and find someone and, and build a life. Because you can't, you, you as a man, you can build a life on your own. But it's, it's always good to have someone that you can rely on, you know? Anyway, fast forward that bullshit. Me and my uh, future wife, we clicked again on Tinder. I went back again on Tinder. I was chatting to her. I was chatting to other people too. But I was chatting to her. And she then, her tagline on Tinder literally was the funniest shit ever. It says, I want a husband and kids. Like most people in Tinder will, on Tinder will run away from that shit. Most guys. But I like a little bit of a challenge, you know. I like a challenge. I sent her a text. We talked. She literally gave me her number again. Not knowing that me and her, we already spoke. And I added her. <clears throat> she said to me, she can't see me. I said, oh, it's funny. As soon as I put your name, you showed up straight away on my WhatsApp. <laughs> it looks like I blocked you. You were already, We were already talking. She can't remember anything. Well, bless her soul because she forgets everything. Like literally today she remembers shit. Tomorrow she wakes up in the morning. She forgets it. So, which is okay. I'm also weird and I'm also scared and... I'm basically worried <laughs> about our future. <laughs> and 
see basically we start talking again and everything and we, we and then she then basically find out that she was talking to me before she apologized i'm sorry blah 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 you know why she you know basically you know why she actually really just forget about me the first time you know we're talking she met somebody else she was talking to somebody else <laughs> you know but it claimed out to be that this motherfucker was a bum now nah, i mean it was a yeah it wasn't it wasn't the right person she was talking to someone and she admitted that she told me she's like yeah i was talking to someone at the time you know and uh yeah didn't didn't click anyway so forget forgiven let's move on life is like how it is so me and her we start seeing each other and um lockdown was literally crazy and all the stuff um was drinking and partying most of the time and then me and her we start seeing each other talking and all the stuff yeah boris johnson we break your rule ha <laughs> and we clicked you know i f- um i felt like we were like on the same level with the same with all the stuff that we do uh she was crazy as hell i'm crazy as hell she takes me for who i am i take her for who she is um and in in, in some kind of weird way we're trying to like help each other achieve more in life which is good you know she stayed at mine a couple of times she never left <laughs> she never left my space is literally very small she has a bigger house than mine and but for, in some weird way we can we we just psh, like it works it literally works i never thought that actually living with someone in the small place that i live in would be would be you know because you're bumping against each other like most of the time but it works we made it work and like there's no point in life to basically date someone and then decide to like I don't like this therefore i don't want to be with this person or i don't like that therefore i don't want to be with this person so you're always good to talk and our communication is very good because to be honest this is the first person i've actually ever dated whereby i feel like i can tell her any shit anything without feeling like she's gonna judge me she's gonna make she's gonna like ugh, think like i'm so and so that's how that's a good feeling that's a feeling that everybody wants to feel when they meet someone and then and then i popped the word i'm like listen things are going good you know what i mean you know i know you feel the boy and i feel you too you know and all that shit this and that love is sweet and this and that do you want to be my wife mm-hmm, mm-hmm. she's crying and being all f- like yeah she was very emotional it was it was good and I sealed it and two seconds later she's on a wedding website <laughs> looking at stuff which was also good because you can so it shows you how serious a person is and how you know how much the person want to be with you um she also know about all the shit that was going on in africa like literally told her she knows everything about my life things are going good so the moral of the story is we most probably most of you think why the fuck did you come here and you're trying to like gloat in front of our faces about your happiness all i'm saying is this like i personally there was after my shit went wrong i decided that i don't want to look for anyone and then she just happened all your sexual thoughts and everything else is out of the window the only thing you're saying is i like this person so much i want to see myself get old with this person i want to see myself build a life for this person i want to look at this woman and say to her i am fucking lucky that you are my wife you know all those little things if you're really serious about 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 yourself about life about what you want so I'm at the stage right now where it's not only just about getting married because I'm going to get married next year. Um, yeah, I'm not going to say the date when because I don't want to people to put some juju on my fucking day. <laughs> I want it to stay as clean, as cool as it is, but it's going to happen next year. And after that, I want to I want to I want to try to buy a house with my woman to start our family to do all the stuff that we want to do in life i want to be there and support her to achieve as much as she wants to achieve and i know she would want to do the same thing for me too so it's give and take so tinder is not only for that one thing you if you're lucky you get lucky and i think that um 
I think every day I'm getting to know her more. I'm learning more about her. She's crazy as fuck though. She told me in the beginning that she's a psycho. So I, I had a choice to run away or to see how psycho is this woman. <laughs> I decided to stay to like, you know what? Even though she's psycho, I must stay. And if things go wrong, I pray. So all of you know, I told you all that she's psycho. She's a psycho. Trust me shit i mean the woman listen to murder stories when she's sleeping <laughs> that's what makes her fall asleep i don't know that's kind of weird to me you know <laughs> i bet she's someone's gonna come and like yeah nigga run away <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet man until she's switching you bitch <laughs> one day you'll be a murder story <laughs> <laughs> I can't be a murder story. So y'all know I told you that she listened to a murder story. If something happens to me, yep. <laughs> if I lose a hand, yep. So yeah, I'd be like one of them guys that go to the friend and said, "It's like, yo, man, why do you got a blue mark on your face? I fell. <laughs> I could look them straight in the eyes. I fell for real. Damn, man, you must have fell real hard. I did, not knowing that. Yeah, my psycho wife." beat me nah she's cool that's the thing what happened so not gloating here just saying that there is we all get lucky to find someone that we can fall in love with and someone we can build a life with so if you're thinking there you're like oh my god why am i not happy why do i not have no one so like, sometimes it's good not to look for people just let it happen just let the universe bring you what kind of person you might have someone in your life or someone in your someone might come in your life that you both don't like the same things but in some way it makes you guys perfect for each other because if you if you are if you like some different stuff and the person like different stuff in some way it makes you happy brings you guys together and it makes life easy so don't go out don't don't go out and look for love let love come and look for you because if you're rushing to look for someone to want to be with someone nine out of ten times it doesn't work you know it doesn't work and we live in a world nowadays where most people are single because i mean people can just go online and find someone to bang that's it that's the world we live in unfortunately it's not about like back back in our parents days where they find someone and they stick with that one person their whole life you know i've seen people that have been together old people like for 55 years 55 years that's that's crazy that is crazy that's like five decades of witnessing this person's craziness but for some reason you stick together you make it work and it, you two become the best thing that ever happened between you and that person so love can be good love can be bad sometimes it is it is what it is so yeah shit i don't know it was a couple of days ago i was watching a meme <laughs> there was this girl she's watching tv and then she like this other girl had like five was it two husband two boyfriend and then five i don't know what well, husband and maybe three or four boyfriends and then the girl put on the meme said and i can't even have <laughs> one person call me it is what it is you know um you can get lucky or you can get unlucky so i would say don't give up on love don't give up on yourself wait patiently and you never know someone might come and knock on your door the moment that you don't expect things to happen to you great things will happen to you i mean if you if you are fighting for great things to happen to you most of the time nothing's gonna happen to you you know there are people right now fighting to stay together especially like on this pandemic that's going on that couples who are fighting to stay together because they just notice how much they don't like each other but that's the thing you know and then they break up and then six months later they're fighting to come back together because they noticed that even though they were not perfect they they had a lot of th a lot of things that brought them together so pandemic i would say coronavirus has helped me in a way you know i literally been with this woman for now for, for so long that i know her like the back of my hand and she knows me like the back of my foot 
and I'm joking. So yeah, so that's how I meet my woman. And um, this is our love story. I know that it's not the best way to tell this. Obviously, like when we have children, we're going to lie to them. Like, yeah, we met. It was a beautiful day, sunny and all that shit. And uh, dad and mom met at a restaurant. It was good. She was looking at me. Her eyes was glistering. And I was like, oh, that's a beautiful woman. Walk up to her. Like back in the days of a romantic movie, I'm like, would you like to go out on a drink with me? That's the, that's the story we're going to tell our kids. Okay? I'm telling you grown ass people that I met this woman on Tinder. Tinder. She's my Tinderella yeah so that's one day she would tell you our love story and you're gonna see the first time in my life that i actually care about someone so much that i should remember all this shit normally i don't give a fuck <laughs> someone asked me like babe do you not what oh 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 yeah oh ah oh. Uh, mm, nope <laughs> don't know so yeah so that's love that's my love story so like i say don't look for love let it look for you don't stress yourself good things are going to happen in your life you know even though we live through the worst time right now we're going through this pandemic going on in the world we all might have our own views and how we think about it but let's not forget we are all human beings and we are just trying to live and be happy so be happy don't let anyone tell you otherwise anyway my name is Danny Divide. I'm out. I'm gonna chill, relax, chill, and do more relaxing and maybe sleep because I need to work tonight. But anyway, peace.